Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to take a look at something very interesting which is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now, I know there's a lot of people been waiting for this release and there was some bundles available on Steam and here and there that you could buy all three parts and I never got any of those bundles. What I did actually manage to do a very stupid thing and get all these games on separate platforms so I have Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2 on Steam, then I got Mass Effect 3 on Origin, then I got uh, Andromeda on Epic Store for free, and then I got it on Origin again because it was on sale and I forgot I already have it, and so on and so forth. Now, when it comes to Mass Effect, I wouldn't say it's a bad game, however, I wouldn't also call it, you know, the most amazing game ever created. I would say it's very good, it's, it's, it's a canon game for the time it came out, and to be honest, I kind of liked Andromeda, to be honest, and I know that I'm going to be crucified for saying that, but I said it once before. And I think we actually need to just appreciate how the world progresses and stuff. Now, when it comes to the benefits of Legendary Edition, uh, they claim that, well, the Mass Effect is remastered, and it supports 4K resolutions now and stuff like that. Now, what we're going to do is put that to the test, because... Uh, I got the Legendary Edition, obviously, and I got the previous Mass Effect part, so we can... I wouldn't call it side-by-side -side comparison, but it's pretty close. So, here we go, and this is the original Legacy Mass Effect, and as you can see, I already set it up for, well, everything maxed out as much as I can, and we are going to run this at 4K. Uh, there's, well, vertical sync is off, so we should get the maximum frames we can possibly get. And, uh, well, see how it looks. So, without the further ado, Welcome to let's just go for military it. military database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, let's just scrap Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Okay. Ah, beans. Okay, let's see. Game test. Uh, I'm gonna uh, skip past all the cutscenes and stuff like that because they are low resolution, 30 frames. I just wanna see the first mission, see how we get on there. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Nah. Just a casual, it doesn't really matter for me, and I want the subtitles, and let's just roll. So we are getting 30 frames now. There should be an option to well, skip this. what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Where the fun begins. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. This is the most epic thing in the Mass Effect. All also, I guess it's A bit above 62. Or Absolutely capped out and the GPU is at 33%. Not bad at all. Board is green. Approach run has begun.
Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Here we go, and to be honest, for 4K, everything maxed out, this game looks, well, pretty fantastic, uh, because it was pretty well made back in the day as well. So, what we're gonna do is uh, jump through the Mass Effect 1 and 3 as a direct comparison, give or take, and I'm just gonna fast forward to the first mission so we don't have to go through all of this. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Target 
Hearts down. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. So we are back and this was a bit more invested than I thought. So after trying to set up the resolution, it would just simply not go beyond 1080p. So I had to go into game files and actually manually adjust the resolution and well, set it to 4k which we gonna I know it's set as a 4k so we are vertical sync is off we are capped out at 240 frames and that is good enough so let's go for it new career again I'm gonna let the initial cutscene run just to see how it all looks and we're just gonna go for exactly the same thing as before welcome to Alliance military database classified information requested Establishing secure connection. I'm really curious what they've secure done to the first Mass Effect confirmed. in terms of graphical upgrades, if there is any. Please log in to access your profile. Okay. Mass Effect. There we go. Looks good. Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah. Let's go with this. Confirmed. Oh, this is good. Let's roll. Well, the thingy looks a bit better. That's a good start, but we are at 50 frames. Well, what hmm. about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, 
Just under 1,500k. 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? Besides, Spectres You're are- paranoid. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So the choices are a bit uh, reversed uh, on a uh, legacy one. I agree was in the middle. And here is actually the top. The character shaders does look a bit different. Uh, it kind of looks like reskin. Uh, a bit more detail in. Mm, and the relay jump was definitely looking a bit different as well. Kind of sharper image all around. So there is some changes made. Also, Shepard has some reflections in his eyes, or maybe I just missed it on the Legacy one. Let's just roll with it. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's... Sure. Good. He's all cal... The captain's waiting for you in the calm room. Okay. So, what do we get? We get 100... 100 frames and 3.8 gigs of video memory. So we are running 1080 Ti. There is some uh, light effect going on uh, Shepard's chest here a bit. Oh, absolutely. Some shadows. Not really that much different. If I wouldn't play the first one, I wouldn't really tell the difference, to be fair. But okay, let's just get down to Eden Prime, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're landing on Eden Prime. This is where the real fun begins. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Okay, we have some particle effects, but we're not there. What about survival? Okay, let's just quickly skip past. I just want to see the graphical upgrades. I move faster on my own. Oh, absolutely, it looks different. We are approaching drop point two. I want to see the trees. To be fair, they actually even redid the trees. So we have some f fog and we have some particle effects going on. That's kind of cool. And we are at 140 frames. And the GPU is at 97%, pulling 3.1 gigs on 4K. I must say, this is not bad at all. This is not bad at all. Huh. Oh God. What happened here? This actually looks better. I was concerned that this is just another money grab, but it looks like they actually did something to it. And to introduce newer generations to the Mass Effect series is always a good step. Well, his death was as unimpressive as before. How do I... Oh! A different button is required. Yeah, he deserves better. Okay. Yeah, this definitely looks better. Absolutely no doubt about it. Wait, we need to go there. We have some uh, ground reflection. There's actually a water puddle here as well. Holy shit, wait, are you telling me we can actually finally see how all this place looks like? Well, definitely a bit more details on this tower. Usually it was just like a red plane. But uh, absolutely nothing to see there. This is pretty nice. Kill them all! 
We have heat markers now. Ha! Welcome to war zone. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. We have hit markers. Is this Call of Duty now? I mean for 2007 game remaster, this is pretty good. I do believe it's even better than Halo's. And if you are replaying this, I do believe you're gonna enjoy this a lot. Performance is very good, there's no stutters, no drops. Uh, the game is, the legendary edition is installed on SSD drive though. Uh, just to speed up the loading process, because I was kind of expecting um, uh, bigger textures, uh, larger resolution packs, you know, that usually takes a bit more space. But this is actually not bad at all. I wonder if hardcore Mass Effect fans will actually see the difference. When they play the game. Okay, if this is how first Mass Effect looks like. I wonder, will they be able to squeeze out something similar from Mass Effect 3? So, let's just go and check it out. So, of course, we're going to start with Legacy Mass Effect 3 on 4K, everything maxed out. And we're going to jump back on to the Legendary Edition. So, you know, transition time without the transition... Uh, I need to work on my editing, I guess. See you right now. So here we are with the Legacy Mass Effect 3. Let's just double check the options again. I just set them to be honest, so should be exactly fine. 3K, uh, 4K, I mean, <laughs> 3000 and it's 4K. Kind of weird, right? Anyway, anti analyzing is dynamic shadows and that's all we get in terms of graphics. So, hmm. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna get these tweaks uh, later on as well. Sound music, everything looks good so you can hear my annoying voice. And yeah, let's just go for it straight up. So obviously this is going to be the most epic sequence for Mass Effect 3 beginning. You know, the ship, the explosion, Shepard burning to crisp. And I think that's going to be enough to see the actual performance and differences when it comes to it. So let's just hit with that. And um, let's see how we go. It's like a type of experience. I want action. No, I want story. Fuck it. First name. Okay. Oh my god, I can actually put my channel name in. Oh, this this is already better than before. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that's all there is. Let's go with default. Uh, obviously, infiltrator. I'm gonna be earthborn. You're gonna be ruthless. Evil guy. What the hell? Uh, Kaden, obviously. Let the games begin. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. 
there's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. It still looks good. What the hell? Houston. Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? Of course it's we the Reapers. Know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Oh god, the 4K makes it so difficult to even see the choices. Anyway, let's just roll with something. And go forward to see the big battle scene. Actually, that, that's a good... Uh, let, let's see how everything gets blown up. Who's with me? But it's all just theory to us. You've been there in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Shepard. Ashley? Then. I know I'm skipping forward, but this is pointless. Uh, if you want to play the game, play the game, but I've heard this too many times, so sorry about this. Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. UK headquarters, of course. Who else? Who else in the world but UK? Why not Americans? Yep. That's UK's broadband at work. Signal lost. Can't even buffer a video call. They got that thing right. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? Is he just can't hack what it? We, <laughs> we shoot a pistol at Reapers. It's simple. The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Not before we kill the council. Or Reapers kill the council. Anyway, apparently Shepard falling down is Mass Effect 2. And I must say this is the most amazing thing burned in my memory, so I forgot the Mass Effect 3 beginning is very lame. Shepard! 
Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. Okay. Admiral Anderson, report in anyone. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? Status fucked. You have the contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Come on. Epic cinematic stuff. Go away. They're massive. Come on, Shep. Ashley's headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Park. Let's move. Better. Oh, we are uh, frame locked at 50 frames anyway. Pretty sweet. Okay, where's that uh, cruise ship? Hey, where's the cruiser? Give me my cruiser. Come on. We'll have to go this way. Give me back my cruiser shooting at the Reapers. Looks clear, let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. Again, look at look at the, all these reflections. All of this. We're about five minutes out. Okay, the distance looks a bit shit, but to be honest, it's still pretty Commander. good. Gammon. Husks, take them out. Husks? You mean the dogs? Oh no, shit. Shoot em. I'm, out of ammo. I'm not. Take these things out the old fashioned way. Don't let them grab you. No one's grabbing me, boss. There's a door. Watch it. Oh, come on, just hit him already. What the hell? It took a while. doors for me? No one? Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. Come on. You got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Ah, oh, the sequence is so long. Jesus, come on. Let's go. And it still looks good. I mean, what the hell? I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left. Yeah. I'm just trying to skip ammo. everything. Reload, let's keep moving. Where's my cruiser? Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're in fight of the space force. ETA three minutes.
Oh, it's a dreadnought. Did you know you can actually stand here and just watch this going on for ages and if you move forward it's gonna finally explode? Okay, I wonder how much more epic they can make this in a remaster. So a dreadnought explosion launches me into the wall with a shockwave, but uh, Reapers landing down creates no shockwave. Normandy, come in. Friendlies, you two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. What happened here? I don't know, an attack? We barely made it. You have Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Okay, this is enough for Mass Effect 3. Let's go over to the Legendary Edition, see how they can improve all this. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is definitely gonna be fun. Let's roll. So here we are, Legendary Edition Mass Effect 3. And to be completely honest, I had exactly the same issue as with Mass Effect 1 when it comes to all the graphical things because it would simply not accept 4k so let me just show you real quick i had to do the text file configuration again but we have a bit more things to adjust here we have dynamic shadows motion blur vertical sync is off and well that's basically all there is it does feel a bit more than on the previous ones but hey anyway let's just start with a new game again and just go through all of this you know just as we Decided to. No need for backstory on this. We can already know the backstory. So let's just roll with it. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. So despite vertical sync being off, the cap is still there, we're still at 50 frames, which is a bit weird. It's exactly as in the legacy Mass Effect 3, and it's still the cutscene. I don't know. It doesn't really look that much different. I mean, this kid is kind of a bit more colorful though, like a bit more shadowing. Oh, Shepard's looking fine. Look at this. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. Yeah, the modules are remastered here as well a bit. What's going on? Not Couldn't too much, say. but enough. Just told me they needed you. Now. No, oh, look Anderson. at this boy strolling in. Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? 
Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected. But it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Well, it clearly looks better. I'm just waiting for orders now. I can just imagine uh, Miranda's lower part in 4K, absolutely Sir, remastered. UK headquarters <laughs> has a in Mass Effect 2, but okay. You know, just uh, well thought. It's a meme, not my personal preference. I can't really skip this, this is weird. Low quality, <laughs> Welcome to UK broadband. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? He's still hacking it? What do we do? Shoot first, ask questions later. The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. Okay, let's take a look how this is gonna look. Oh my God. Should be epic. Well, the council table has a reflection on it, so that's good, I guess. But of course, they're not gonna remaster the whole scene. We need to get outside and get to the chopper. Shepard! Come on, get up! Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Controls are literally the same, which is good. A little bit of an improvement, there is some volumetric fog again. Must be some vaping convention there. Look out! How do you stop something so powerful? Take a running jump! It's harder than it looks! Come on, let's go! Come on! We'll have to go this way! So far so good, to be honest. Looks clear, let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. I, I kind of don't even want to shoot those, those husks, so I don't have to... The husk in the door was a bit more of a challenge you to deal with. Take 
him out. Oh. Shoot him. I'm out of ammo. I'm not. Oh, I still have enough to kill the husband by the door. Ah, oh, shit! They don't. They don't gonna let me do that. Come on. Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Good. Don't let them grab you. Come on, boy. No ammo. I had ammo. I didn't use it all. Oh, beans. Oh, I guess that was the way. My bad. On the previous part, there was no notification for heavy melee. Or melee. Or mylene. Or one of those things. In here. I'm not even gonna hang around the cutscenes. It's pointless. We already seen them. And performance is literally the same, it's amazing. So, actually, if you've never played this, you know, You're as in general, for the ones that die. I would say it's definitely worth a Grab look. Some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. Why did I get Renegade? I didn't do anything. Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA three minutes. Why they don't make games like these anymore? They're gonna take down that dreadnought. Oh, because nobody knows how to make a storyline. Lieutenant Commander! Shit. Okay, this is this is a good one. Oh my Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in! Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Finish them all. Over here. Okay, I must say this actually looks good. So let's just take a look of the price here? of this game for the simple reason. You have a radio? We're trying to contact I'm kind of curious. So no. if you look at all the years of how much it actually costs for all three Mass Effects and all the DLCs, then we'll you, you will probably. Are well within the ballpark of actually not overspending to be Come completely on. fair with you. Let's get to that gunship. And performance is pretty good as well, so let's just uh, go for this exit the game and take a peek, shall we? Send this. Send this. Send this. Okay, let's take a look at Steam and check out how much they actually want for it. <laughs> because the Legendary Edition for now, if I'm oh. not mistaken, is still 54. So that is something completely different, but uh, let's let's give it a, a quick look here, shall we? So for the Legendary Edition, uh, through Steam they want 54 pounds, including all of the DLC, so 55, which roughly translates to around $60. So, for $60, if you would actually get all three parts, all DLCs, remastered with 4K capability, I would say this is a pretty decent deal. And actually, I do believe you've spent more money by purchasing separate DLCs throughout the one and three, uh, excluding Andromeda, than you would actually get with this. So yeah, I mean, if you never played this or you just want to replay it again in a bit better quality, sure, definitely. 
I would want to have the price kind of about 40 range. It would be kind of, you know, it is an older title series. It's it's a reboot of a franchise, right? It's kind of money grabbing a bit. But for those who's never played it, absolutely, you can clearly see the difference. And that's been shown on the video. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. So, thanks for watching. And catch you guys next time.